this machine will kill us. What's up crew and welcome to today's vlog. I am headed to Jake Jake the Toilet Snake. We haven't seen him for a while now and I kind of wanted to go and see him. I wanted to give him a hand. He said he was working on his car a few days ago and he said he possibly might be working on it today. So I figured I'd shoot him a text, see what's up, and offer him a helping hand. I like getting down and dirty and I like working hard, as a lot of you guys do. So I'm going to put the Kodiak to the side because we're waiting on parts. You know, the Yamaha four-wheeler. I got sick of working on that. Well, not really, I'm just waiting on parts. And you guys know how that goes. You always hurry up and wait. We have snow right now, but it looks like it's melting. And what I mean by that is it is melting because it's over 32 degrees. That's Fahrenheit for all you Canadians and wherever else they use the Celsius system. I'll get the door for you. I'm a gentleman. I got to see this. Yeah. Did you just get here? I got here about 10 minutes ago. So here's the rig. Here's his winter rig. Right, Jake? Yeah, for this wire. And the previous winters, but maybe not next winter. No? Maybe get a BMW? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. So he's having muffler problems, he says. Look at all the toys. Used to have one of those. Well, I guess both of those are Apexes. Yeah, look at that. Brand new, huh? Pretty much. Brand used? Yeah. Did you rob that off your grandma's car? Yeah. He actually did, but but she's scrapping it, so that's why. That'll work out slick then, huh? Yes, What'd well. you do, just sawzaw it off? No. Two pulls, that's pretty good for the old classic. Jake's car, so we gotta move all the sleds out of the way. We got two four strokes and one two stroke. Redneck ingenuity. Jake, I'm sure you're, uh, a lot of people are gonna like your new rig. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, buddy. It's good. So you just throw diesel in it? Yeah, but people are gonna comment diesel's a blue can. I couldn't find one. I thought kerosene was a blue can. Is it? Oh yeah, diesel's yellow. Yeah. Well, we don't own any yellow. I know that for sure. It's okay. A little gas in a can never hurt anybody. I mean, we're already gonna suffocate to carbon monoxide. Why not just take it up a notch, you know what I'm saying? Get the shit! What'd you get? Two 3D machine goodies. Oh, really? Where can you get those? Description below. We'll even provide it in the comment section as well. What colors did you get? Oh, that looks familiar. Did you see the video? I did see the video. There you go, buddy. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Are those a good size for you? Yeah, they're a perfect size. They're good? Well. The link for those will also be in the comment section. Rap, rap! Oh, that's perfect. You don't want to save that? I want to fly free. What the hell is that? That's our ventilation right there. A 
ahead, Jake. What's going on here? What are we working on today? 98 Ford Escort. No, she's a 2017 Duramax diesel. She's got a diesel? No. So what's going on here? There's a big hole in the exhaust. Can you see it up there? Oh, yeah. That's crazy, because all this looks really nice. So this is his old one, and here's his new exhaust. The only problem is that's a different size than is this gonna, one. Is it going to fit down here? I hope so. The only thing is, is it's got it's going to have totally different brackets. So what, you're just going to saw saw this one off first? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Well, let's make it happen, Kevin. Now we need to find a saw saw. There's its cousin right here. Yeah. I don't think the wood blade would work too well. What do you mean? It looks shattered. That thing's brand new. It's still got paint on it. She's ready to rock. There you go, that's what we need to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one don't look any see, see, this has the most paint on it. I would go with this one. Okay. All these other ones don't have paint on them, you notice that? This one's really gone through some work. And plus it's a wood blade. <laughs> Wrong end. I'm trying to find a pair of safety glasses for Jake so then when he's hacking that muffler off that a whole bunch of rust doesn't go in his eyes. It doesn't look like I have it. Oh man! Man, that dude is on fire! Let me see that! Look at that! Okay, Jake, you're gonna have to treat it like uh, the sun. You, you can't look directly at it because I don't have any safety glasses. I'm sorry, buddy. That's fine. I mean, you can slap this thing on real quick. I don't want to. Okay. Just find where you got to cut and then close your eyes. It's all in the technique. I couldn't get them off on the other car, so I just cut them. Yeah, but you don't want to cut these. No, because we're going to need them. Yeah, because you're mushroom. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I got this one. Right. Off. I can hear the rust just falling off. You're making my car faster by the minute. I know. She's going to get terrific MPGs when we're done. That really hurts my hands. But it's all for the toilet snake, so it's worth it. It's off now, right? Yep. Your last mount is uh, snapped right off your frame. So. Oh, that's perfect. Yep. So we'll just bang this off. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take the rest of the muffler with it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get the shot? For the most part. So you can actually see <laughs> that the size of that hole. That is crazy. See, this is what we deal with up in the north with salt on the road in the winter. During the old winter time. See, this part of the exhaust looks beautiful. And then you get up here, it's disgusting. <laughs> so we're gonna take his rear wheel off on this side so we can fit the sawzall in there. Cause we tried to hit it off with a hammer and it was just moving the whole exhaust system. And it's already pieced together. Jake, your car made me bleed, dude. Look at this. Hit it with a hammer. This? Yeah. That's a little easier for, easier for you, right? You want to cut here, huh? Yeah, I want you to cut close to that muffler. Is it going through it? Or you got a butter knife on there? I think you got a butter knife. No, it's close. Is it? Yeah, it's not. Oh my god, that ain't nothing! <laughs> Old exhaust is practically off. The blade didn't look like it was doing such a good job, but then all of a sudden it started gripping, so that was good. Yeah, that's that probably gave you more power, dude. I don't know. Less resistance. What what's the diameter? Three fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanna do the other side, Jack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that looks a tiny bit smaller. Yeah, it is. Where's the old tape measure? Two inches on the new. One and seven eighths. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> An eighth of an inch difference. Uh, the old winter beater. So here's the plan. Jake lost his uh, bolt, his U-bolt to hang onto the muffler, like to clamp his new muffler on the existing pipe. So we are going to run downtown and grab one. We're also gonna go ahead and grab my welder and my grinder with a cutoff wheel. So that way... What's up with your dash? You got something against the Duramax? The dash is out back. <laughs> I haven't played with it yet. It's too cold outside to be playing with that kind of stuff. What do you want to do? Put that other radio on? No. What are you doing? 
doing? Um, I was trying to fix it in my existing radio. If anybody's got a spare radio for a 2005 Chevy 2500, I'd really appreciate it because mine's kind of not very good. His exhaust actually has three mounts and then it hooks up to the pipe, so we'll count that as four points. We're gonna end up having three points by the time we're done with it. I think his new muffler should be able to work once we pick up my welder. Thumbs up. So I was gonna bring up my welder and as you guys know, my welder kind of goes through my toolbox so I have to disconnect stuff. Well, I disconnected this totally wrong and I ended up breaking it. So I have to solder these two wires back on the ends here. Hopefully I can manage to do that. If not, it'll really tick me off. But because of that, we can't take the welder up because it won't work properly. So now instead of having three points on his muffler, he's only gonna have two. Look at how dirty she got just doing that one trip, dude. She's a mess. You gonna pressure wash for me? So I ended up having a two inch clamp sitting around and then we stopped at the store and bought a two and an eighth inch clamp just in case. I'm just kind of disappointed with the welder because I wanted this job done and completed and not ever have to worry about it. But now that we only have two points, it's just a little less, there's just a little less structure. Jake, what do you think about that? I don't know, hopefully it holds up. That's right. I guess we should have got safety glasses at my house too. Yeah, So we cut the chunk off and slid it off, and while Jake was down there, he found this bolt, like, just <laughs> in this disgusting spot yeah. here. I don't even think this belongs to the car, but I don't know. where it came from, we don't know. It was just sitting it, It's there. huge. Look at that. Pull it out. That thing's huge. <laughs> and it was just sitting there. What would that go to? <laughs> I don't know. Slap around, buddy. I need your wrench, though. We had to come in for two reasons. One, a coat hanger. Since we don't have a welder, we gotta rig something up right now. And two, the more important thing, we need to get a snack. My bad, you guys. We actually stopped for three things. Jake just thought of the third thing now. And that looks mighty tasty. Ah! He's a drunk that's supposed to work. What happened? Oh. No shit. Crack. We have one of the rear brackets hooked up to this mount, and we have the U-bolt hanging on to the front of the muffler. What we were going to use the welder for was we were actually gonna lop this one off, re-weld it over here, and then have it hook up to that mount, or even this mount, but instead we have to do something else. It's going down for real. Let's see if she's any quieter, Jake. I think it's gonna be quieter than a Prius. Sounds like you got a leak up front, but we're not gonna fix that one. <laughs> this ain't no ricer. I don't hear a leak out back. I think there's just a leak out front. No, up front. You like your hair, you? That's fly, dude. That is fly. I think it's fine. <laughs> that that wouldn't have been good at all. <laughs> Take two. Yeah, it's really quiet. It's nice. Well, Jake, I'm glad I could help you make your ricer a little bit quieter. I'm a half a customer. Yep. Too bad we couldn't weld that, uh, too bad we couldn't weld your mount on there. Yeah, did you show them what we did or not? No, I don't no. think that would be appropriate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not that good. I thought it was a unique idea. It, it's unique, but uh, definitely nothing that the car manufacturers are gonna pick up at all. Thank you. Take care. I'm sorry I don't have enough time to help you clean up, but I gotta get going too. Jake and I had a lot of fun. We got his car fixed. Not the best way, but it's pretty dang good. 
considering the circumstances and that rig. Have you seen it? A lot of you machine freaks are aware that that's not Jake's new car. He's actually rocked that. That's actually been his first car, I believe. But I considered it a new car because he brings it on and off the road during the seasons. The winter season, the Escort gets a beating. So I want to know in the comment section below, what was your first vehicle and how long did it last? For me, it was a Ford Expedition and it didn't last very long at all. So I want to see your story in the comment section below. It's always a good time reading what you guys have to say. But I had fun, I know Jake did, and I know you guys did as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow's vlog, 3D Machines out. It's date night. My girlfriend's taking me out for Christmas. We made it to our first stop. We're in Buffalo, New York. And I think the coolest thing about this place is their fan system. They have a belt that drives all these different fans. And they have a belt that even goes through the wall to power a different fan. It's so cool. Merry Christmas to me. The water is on point. Well, to be completely honest, I knew it was going to be a good date from the start because we were bringing my hockey skates. But now we're going to go ice skating and go to a hockey game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.